yeah and we're back coach q um i thought i'd come on here real quick and break down a real quick video to see how fast i can get this video going i was going to go into a coach q's rant moment but we're going to change this over to the playlist um i am still on my playlist hustle ladies and gentlemen so if you are independent artists out there and you have quality music you've got music that you want to promote you're already heavily engaged in your promotion you want to get your views and your song plays up you might want to check me out head over to uh any one of the links that you'll see at the bottom of this video or attached uh how are you seeing this video we got a lot of good playlists going and i need your help to get them over the top the tippy 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 top so with that being said i thought you know what let me just break down everybody what exactly it is and for all of those that aren't really on board with the spotify thing you don't like spotify it's not your favorite platform i understand i'm not against you at all i am totally with you with all of these streaming uh platforms like snoop said they need to figure this thing out man because where's the money where's the money it's really tough to get excited over the amount that we get for a stream it's scary it, it hurts a little bit but the other side of that coin if you really are engaged in this music marketing thing if it's your life if it's not just something you're doing trying to hustle a penny and dime you have music in your blood you're not gonna stop you're never gonna stop making music we have to work with the tools that we are given and honestly some people are getting a little coin off of the streaming service platform so if you are in that anywhere in that realm and any of that sounded appealing to you right now in that little rant check this out i got a few playlists that especially if you're a hip-hop artist i got a few playlists that i think you need to be checking out i am i have a few like i said i have a few i have more than one as you can see here but um and i have a few accounts this is my rap critics 19 account in spotify make sure you guys give me a follow search for rap critics 19. uh we have a lot of good playlists going on up over there as well as i have playlists on my personal account Laron q on spotify um aka q rock 639 for those of you that don't know um but yeah this is one of our favorite one of my favorite playlists the rap critics vip hip-hop part one edition a very important playlist hip-hop mix of major releases and independent picks um and you can submit your music here i don't know if you guys are seeing this link let me see if i can highlight it right there that link right there will take you where you need to go if, of course my head is going to want to show you my editing behind the curtains but um this playlist can be found on daily playlist i am getting back into the full swing of the hip-hop marketing music promotions a lot of people may know can head for years and years and years the gray hairs on my face show i've been here for a while um i had to take a break though the rap critics thing was getting a little out of control felt like if you're following me on any of my accounts on instagram on twitter much love much love to you especially if you know the great face if you know the great beard for real and you're still hanging around on this especially if you're on instagram psh, if you're still hanging around instagram and you're still following rap critics blog man you a real one give yourself a thumbs up don't give me the thumbs up give it to yourself but anyway let's get back to this so i got some playlists jumping here um rap critics vip hip-hop part one is loaded as is my latest playlist top indie songs on spotify that one is a newer one trying to get the numbers up on that as you can see i have 107 likes only about 79 songs on that right now the streets are ours playlist is another one another super dope playlist from lq to great from rap critics blogs we're looking for unsigned artists on this one exclude not ex i'm not gonna say exclusively i want a lot more unsigned artists than i want major label artists all right i want independent artists unsigned independent you know they kind of mean the same thing to me i shouldn't keep saying that but if you are an artist that doesn't have a deal with the big three or five you might want to check this playlist out i definitely need your help prime time playlist Ooh one like what come on that's an older playlist though for real i'm gonna probably 
gut it and put some more songs in there. So again, now is a real good time for you artists out there that might be stumbling across this video and have never seen Coach Q ramble about the music promotion thing. Now is a good time to submit music to me. I'm back, I'm back in the groove, dog. I'm trying to get it popping. You know, I do a lot of things. So when I have free time, I like to make the best of it. Rap Critics VIP Hip Hop 2023 playlist is nicer than the rest. Trust me. Music from independent artists and major hip hop artists as well. That one is cruising, as you can see, with a cool 220 likes. I got to get some more music on that one. I'm probably going to update that this weekend. Um, and yeah, I do have a few others um, on here that I curate. Um, some aren't as popular as other. I don't know why this one doesn't have more views or listens. That Doomsday All Day, aka Metal Faces Villainous Verses. That's a playlist that you have to have in your life. Just, just, just do it. Ride Out Playlist of the Week is another one that I'm going to be updating and uh, pushing again here soon. Indie Music City is one that's starting to get popular again for some reason. I just added that on Daily Playlist for some reason. That is the reason. I know exactly why. Um, so that one's cruising. You might want to check that one out, as is Super Cool Out. Super Cool Out is another new playlist I'm starting. Seriously dope playlists. Lots of old and new songs, independent and majors. I like to mix it up. So as you can see, I have a few. I have a few playlists here. I have a few ways that I can get you guys on. Some of my playlists are a little more popular than others. I'm one of those curators. Like Not every one of my playlists has 100, 200, 300 likes, but some of them do. So help me help you get all... The song plays on Spotify that you can submit to us here. So now that's, that's, that takes me to part two. It takes me to part two of this presentation. You're like, okay, cool. How do I submit my music to the Rap Critics VIP playlist or to the Can Head Cares Network playlist or to any of these cool playlists that you just showed me, Q? How do I do that exactly? Aha. Second part of the presentation begins now. Shout out to Daily Playlist. If you guys don't know about daily playlists, I highly recommend you check them out. It's a quick, easy way for you to start marketing your songs, um, pitching to playlisters. There is a, a tiered version. I guess you can pay for some of the services. Um, I'm on there as a curator as well as um, as an artist. So you will see some QRock 639 songs floating on there. Now, this... I love, I love this. this. This shows you, well, first of all, let's go to this tab. This shows you how many playlists I actually have <clears throat> listed on daily playlists. I have top indie songs on Spotify, Rap Critics VIP Hip Hop Part 1, Streets Are Hours playlist, and that Rap Critics VIP Hip Hop 2023. You can submit to all of these playlists by going through this website, all right? Um, let me just see what happens if I go. If you just go to the front page, you'll see here, easy playlist pitching. Share your music with thousands of curators in seconds for free. And again, I'm not being paid for this plug for daily playlists. So daily playlists, you see this face, you see these playlists going, I need you to show me some love. <laughs> show me some love. Um, but basically, all you need to do is search your track or artist name right here, and you'll be able to add on to a playlist quickly. Let's just do a quick test real quick just to see. Just to show you guys how this looks in in the wild um i typed in my artist name q rock 639 and it is pulling up all of the oh let me, there you go it's pulling up all of the songs that i have on here and let's just grab one that's been sitting for a while one of my instrumentals maybe um let's do soul call edition all right great now choose the submission type I don't want to pay for anything right now because I'm cheap. So we'll go standard submissions. Use your free credits. Um, let me just break in here in a minute. One of these videos is going to be why artists must stop being cheap with themselves and start investing in their music promotion. Like, honestly, what else are you doing with that $250? What else are you doing? And I know a lot of people say, man, that's $250, bro. Name your vice. Name your second vice. Those two vices right there have just gobbled your music marketing 
budget for the month. They have. You're just not doing the accounting. And honestly, you're lazy, dog. You're lazy. You need to go watch Coach Q's side hustle tips. Do one of the things he tells you to do for side hustling and put that money into your music marketing. That's what I suggest you do. And I offer all this information for free, dog. I'm not like these guys. Pay me now with a funnel website. No. You see how this goes? I get into my rants and it just spirals all over the place. All I'm trying to say is stop being cheap with yourself. If you're a musician, if you're an artist, if you're an independent rapper and pay for some promotion time. But again, for this example, for this exercise, we're just going to submit to playlist. Now, here we are on the next page is telling us to choose the right genre for our song, right? You see over here on the left, there's different genres. That's an instrumental. So we're just going to say, and it's right here on the bottom, hip hop instrumental. Uh, if it'll let me pick it. Why are you being weird to me? This thing's being weird, bro. It's bugging out. Okay, there it goes. It caught. Just a little lag. And we're going to click hip hop as well. Okay. Um, and it'll show you that pulled up just putting in those two genres or parameter parameters brought up a result of 474 playlists that I can submit my song to right now. So I'm just going to submit to one. I wonder if I pop up, like I say, my playlists are on here. If this gets updated frequently, frequently. Now, I'm not just giving a blind endorsement for all the playlisters on here. If you've had any experience with Spotify playlists and you know how weird it can get, I'm not giving a blind endorsement to any of these playlisters that I'm seeing. Um, you'll find some that as soon as you submit to them, they're, hey, we love your stuff. And then here comes the pitch. You know, that may or may not be bad. I'm going to probably try to go into more music marketing. Um, videos and highlight some of the companies that feel to be a little more above board than others marketing is a funny world you just got to get used to it it feels a little grimy sometimes but again i don't want you guys messing with bots so i'm not just going to sign off to any playlist here that i see i don't know most of these i do recognize a few names here um so you know what? i'm just going to pick one just for just to get this out the way um, it'll show you here, this, this little green section says active. Some will say not recently active or active recently. Um, that can help you make your choices, but I'm just going to go up to the top. Lo-fi sleep, 3 a.m. quiet instrumental beats. This is being created by Lo-fi Cafe Records and they have 26,333 followers. We're going to submit. <clears throat> to them and see what happens the other thing i will say about daily playlists the so the acceptance rate varies not everybody's just going to automatically just grab um the project that you're promoting you will not find the greatest um acceptance rates over here that's an easy way to say it but you will get accepted and you will find your people. You will. And if you're doing this free and not paying for any of the uh, major promotional services, it is what it is. I still think they're a good um, starting point for a lot of people who want to get their own marketing and their music. Right. All right. So let's just get back to this. Let's finish this one out here. Continue to submit. What they have here is a playlist submission gate for this playlist. If I want to submit to them, um, they asked me to do a few things they want me to follow lo-fi cafe records they want me to follow this playlist and they want me to save this song so i will just agree to all of that and submit that does not guarantee that they will place your song in the playlist either that's just part of the trade-off and that's it that's how quick it can be for you to start submitting your music to playlists um again i am in this um i am on this website as a curator, right? So you might end up submitting some music to me. So now let's go on the other side of the coin. Since I've promoted a song, let's see what's been submitted to me. Um, and that's always interesting. That is always interesting. So up top, I don't know what this is. This is like some sort of, I guess it's a part of the paid promotion. If you were an artist, um, they would put your song up at the top 
are, I'm guessing, of every curator that they have, right? And it's up to them to accept or decline, right? So this is one of the latest songs. This was submitted to me today, an artist named Jay Cobb. The song is called Right Now Part Two. We're gonna play a little clip, this little clip. Descender, a chosen winner. It's ancestral, extraterrestrial. It's expedited to crack. No hard to like it. You can't fight it. How Bob and Weave, Duck and Dodge, you know it's me. I'm hiding behind 35, you know it's me. Cruising down the PCH, you know it's me. Switch scenes, now I'm cruising down the highway, chilling out in mind talk, talking how they talk. We chilling, cleat go spill. Okay, 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 okay. You know, it's not bad. That's not bad. That is not bad. It's like. <laughs> I might, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I was going to say, I might do a show where I just play you all the stuff that I'm, that I decline. That might be a bit harsh. There's no need for all of that. There's no need for all that negativity. I'm not going to bash the artist like that, but I don't take everything. I don't accept, I guess I'm like a 50, 50, you know, but that that's not bad. I would accept that. No problem. The track sounds good. It's masked or mixed properly. Um, it's not bad. So shout out to Jacob. Thank you for submitting your song to me. And there it is. You just got into the Rap Critics VIP. Uh, that was the Rap Critics VIP 2023 playlist, I think. All right, let's see one quick more. Another one. One more real quick. This is... The artist is Minor Boy VC, Tales at Midnight. We gon' weapon stack a blow with any second. Get you gone for disrespecting on my daddy. I get reckless. In February is late March. How we be stepping if you pressing someone shooting like they stepping? I'm from a city where we bang it out like tech and they all 15s with a silver Smith and West. Nigga, is you dumb as you stupid? I'm just guessing. What the fuck? All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna come in here and interject on this real quick. Um, kind of show you my thought process and whatnot. I mean, even for this, like I'm just recording this. I go into these sessions. This isn't scripted out or anything. I'm probably the worst YouTuber you ever gonna find, dog. I just, I just press record and go. Um, but I do have a little bit of a process when it comes to the songs that I pick, right? So let me show you. It's probably not gonna, probably not gonna work. Let me see. So this is Tales at Midnight by Minor Boy VC, right? So we'll click here, and this should take us to. Uh, it's not showing you the screen. It should take us to this screen, which is his Spotify page, right? Okay. Um, so I'll do this. I'll, a song will come up. I'll hear a track. You know, somebody will submit something to me. So I'm like, okay, let me let me research this artist a little bit. So I'll go to their Spotify. Just check them out. So they got 109 listeners, monthly listeners, which is good. It's good for an independent artist, you know. It's good for any artist, period. Um, decent numbers. You can see here in the top five, there's the song No One. Um, it's got about 8,000 plays so far. The song that they promoted to me, let's see if it's in their top 10. And it's not. So he's trying to get this song going, it looks like. And it's a newer track, a new release. You can see it right here, right? So the last thing that personally I like to do, and this is kind of a make or break for me. This is a straw that breaks the camel's back kind of thing for me personally. Like the track has to be amazing. Amazing if you fail this one aspect. If you fail this one aspect, nine times out of 10, I, I won't accept the track. I just don't. I don't. But if you do, 
it's almost automatic, even for tracks that I may not like as much. If this one element is found, I rock with the track. And it's as simple as this. Can I find you on social media? Can I find you on Instagram? Can I find you on Twitter? I can find this artist on both. So now I can send them this link as soon as this video goes up. As soon as the playlist goes up and say, hey, I just added you to my playlist. Much love. Love the track um, and all of that. I think that is vital. I'm sorry. Like I, I if if I, I've heard songs that they're amazing. Oh, get to that section, get to the about section. There's nothing here. I just keep going like I how am I going to find you? As an average person just listening, okay, cool. I can put you to a playlist and this and that, and it might not be so crucial. But as a as a curator to a playlist, I may not ever reach out to you, but I'll definitely need the ability to do so. So, and I just think that's a a little, you know, a little bit of advice that I would send to all artists that are um, you know, promoting your music. Make sure all your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. Make sure we can find you. If you're going to take the time to submit the music to someone, make sure that person can find you. That is my number one criteria. I look at that almost, I'm not going to say before I listen to the music. The first step is listen to the music. If I've decided then if I'm going to go yes or no, then I'll click on the artist, check them out. And I've heard some amazing songs. No contacts. I'm not going to waste my time. Sorry. Love you all, though. The song is dope. I'll play it. Sometimes I'll add it to a playlist. It's got to be really, really, really fire for me to be like, okay, I can't ever find this artist. I don't know who they are, but I'm still going to rock with the song. You know, another songs that I, another type of thing that I will not <laughs> rock with are these fake lo-fi AI generated tracks. They're all over the internet. You think we can't tell? We can tell. I'm not rocking with those. There's a couple of artists that seem to spe that specialize in that. You'll see them on playlists all over, millions of plays. You'll never get on one of my playlists, bro. Never. And that's it. This is Coach Q. Make sure you click like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you are an artist out there, for real, for real, stop playing games, dog. Look, here's the thing that pisses me off. I'm going to rant real quick, and I'm going to click into this recording. You know, I talk about keeping it real for the underground cats and all of this. Bro, stop being cheap with yourself. First of all, spend some money on your marketing. What do you think this is? Or how am I supposed to find you? How? 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 Like, step it up. Treat it like a business. Put the business back in music business. Just a little, 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 little bit. That's all I'm asking you, my people out there. And rock with your boy. Rock with us rap critics. You talking about y'all wants to. Nobody supports the real. Hello. Hello. Right there. Right there. Right there, dog. Both sides. Holla at a scholar, Q Rock 639, Rap Critics Vlog, VIP Hip Hop Playlist 2002 3 is on Spotify. I am also on Daily Playlist. Let's get this going, y'all. Peace.